The federal government should default on its debt. Let's dig into this one. The land of Arcadia. Hello there, my friends. Chris Mark is here with you for Arcadia Economics and an interesting story, especially because it's out of Fox Business News. The federal government should default on its debt. Let's dig into this one. Um, perhaps to get started, I would assert that the federal government has in some ways already defaulted on the debt. I mean, you have the Fed monetizing a big chunk of it. You know, they're piling it on faster than ever as we've crossed 20 trillion. I guess we're over 22 trillion now. So reminds me of the guy that's already insolvent but gets another credit card lender to give some more cash. Um, not an ideal situation, but interesting to see someone in one of the mainstream financial channels noticing it. That does not happen often. Uh, and you can see down here, they talk about the leaders have dug us into a hole. Best way out is a soft default on the national debt and explaining a hard default where government simply refuses to pay its debt would cause a global economic meltdown true um well actually not necessarily true it would be negative for people who have dollar denominated assets yet the more i think and study the dollar and the way it's been used and how so much of it is stolen through inflation geez i mean if we went back to using <laughs> tulip bulbs at this point you'd almost think we'd have to be better off than the dollar um <clears throat> And again, with the situation we're in, I mean, at least rebuilding something honest and acknowledging the default rather than pretending it's not there and making the bubble bigger. But hey, that's just my, my thought on that. But how would a soft default work? Treasury would peg the dollar to gold, oil, natural gas, or silver. Yes, come on, silver. <laughs> Perhaps a basket um, by choosing a weak valuation, for instance, 10,000 per ounce of gold compared to the current 1290. Much of the debt could be paid down thanks to a much weaker dollar. Uh, interesting. To be clear, a soft default isn't a good idea. It certainly isn't moral. It would hurt people who have socked away translation dollar-denominated assets, as they mentioned, money and bonds, certificates of deposits, or savings accounts. So certainly if you follow the traditional advice of what is the safe, responsible thing to do, your government is going to clobber you which again is why I advocate gold and silver. In advance of these things happening, um, Congress would never agree to the plan, most likely true. But perhaps the big takeaway is here it is, uh, Fox Business, and I find the mainstream channels don't often dig into these things, but essentially saying what I've been thinking for years where it's past the point of no return, the, the money's gone tack on another 22 trillion that Dr. Mark Skidmore has found missing that the government just hides the accounting statements. So it's really, what do we go to next? I felt for a while it's either the implicit default, which would be the printing and, you know, essentially the same thing. If we're going to raise the price of gold or print money to do that versus the explicit, which is just default on the debt. <sighs> you're really talking about two non-ideal ways of ending the dollar. Um, yet, I don't really see there being much other alternatives at this point. So something to keep an eye on, and uh, which is certainly what I will be doing for you here on the Arcade Economics channel. So hit that subscribe button. And by the way, this video is sponsored by Miles Franklin, where I do buy my gold, silver. You can also get platinum and palladium, which has been a fascinating market lately. You can do that by calling 1-833-326-GOLD. And with that said, I will wrap up today, but sure do appreciate you watching and hope you're having a wonderful day.